What's going on, guys? It's Devin from. That was so much. Sip, energy. savor, and celebrate. <laughs> wow. I'm Chris. <laughs> I'm from. Sip, savor, and celebrate. <laughs> hey, we're having a good time. We got to try and beat this up a little bit. Um, they so, call it personalities <laughs> for a reason. Um, got a lot of water in here. <laughs> hey, look what we got. We've got Buffalo Traces E. H. Taylor. Um. You probably seen this out and around, and usually retails for 150 bucks and above. I got my hands on it for 100 dollars. I got Sweet. this on, and of course now they're not selling it for 100 dollars on that same website anymore. Um, from this, Remedy, right? I did get it from Remedy. <laughs> you recall, because you watched the short. You would also know that I got this from Remedy if you were watching our and channel. And guess well. what? And was liking and subscribing it. That's right. Um, so yes, tell us about E. H. So, Colonel. Colonel. So e. Colonel E. H. Taylor is just a brand. It's Buffalo Trace is the big name behind it. And so what happened is just after the the Civil War. Um, OFC Distillery was open for purchase. And so Buffalo Trace um, and E.H. Taylor picked it up. And they started making um, their bourbon the old school way with all the old school equipment and mechanical stuff. <laughs> See, now you know how this looks from my angle when I'm over here struggling. I know, this is usually your thing. <laughs> not my bag today, baby. <laughs> it's not my bag. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Um, yeah. And so, so, you know, they produced their bourbon um, right there in, in Kentucky where you're going to get the best rice and your best wheat and your best uh, corn. A lot of them come from the Kentucky. I get it. Right. Get it. Um, and... They say the tasting of the sweet corn is magical. So, well, remember what I was just reading on the side of this? It's supremacy. I'm like, whoa. Right. <laughs> but they've been doing it for a few years since the World Civil War, y'all. Which, if you don't know what that is, please open a history book. <laughs> Keep going. Keep talking. Keep talking. Keep talking. <laughs> you got filler. You got filler. <laughs> <laughs> and so, um, <laughs> thank you, Remedy. I appreciate you making sure we didn't lose one drop. <laughs> it's holy cow. <laughs> and I still got the other thing. <laughs> Anywho, so um, previously you asked me, well, you know, would you put any you know, of our whiskeys up against Buffalo Trace. What we're finding out more and more is Buffalo Trace is more than just a buffalo. Um, they are, are distilling some, of, trace. some of the bigger brands. They really um, are. You look at pa uh, Pappy Van Winkle. Oh, my God. Remember having... Oh, that was so heavenly. Um, that We had that up at Cane's, uh, which, if you've been following us, that's an amazing restaurant up in Gaylord, Michigan. Um, so if you ever get a chance, get up to Gaylord and check out Kane's. This is ridiculous. Um, but yeah, I was actually <laughs> talking to one of my customers that, you know, operates up in Gaylord and, and obviously they, their staff lives there and they're like, oh my God, that's the new place. And so I was able to give them a great review. So cheers to you guys. Um, and it was great because our waitress and the owner were there again and they're like, hey guys, welcome back. So, you know what, please make sure you're, you're shopping local and making sure that you do support them. And while you're out shopping local, if there's something you're looking for, cigars, bourbons, tequila, rum, stop by and specifically talk to the one that does the ordering at your favorite liquor store or, or you know, cigar shop and say, hey, this is one of my favorites. Can you get it? They'll take your number and they'll help you out. Don't we, be afraid to ask. We've like, got wonderful connections with Raul and Stephanie at Royal Party. And, and then also over at Cork and Ale. And Cork and Ale. You know, Alan D. You, you told me, it's like, here's my number. 
If you need something, let me know. And same thing with uh, Jack over at uh, Zatoon. Yeah. Yep. Uh, my God, those people are so much fun. They, they've been so helpful. Um, man, let's get to the Colonel. I am getting that magical corn, though. It is very caramel. Very corn, and this has got more pronounced flavors in the nose. I get some orange zest. All right, give me a second. Give me a second. It does have a citrus note to it. I don't know if I would go to orange, but definitely citrus of some sort. Maybe you're right. Uh, just so it can be different, we'll call it tangerine. <laughs> got some mandarin zest in there <laughs> i don't know what is the proof on this just out of curiosity it should be a little bit higher so this is bottle and bond it is well oh, there you go it's 100 percent uh it's uh 50 percent alcohol by volume which is 100 proof um bottle and bond straight kentucky bourbon and this is the small batch. This is the one that's a little more, I, I can't say readily available because it's not. Um, usually stores that get it in, it's out real quick. Um, I have seen it. Our local store, he's selling it for 150 bucks. You know, I'm still happy that I got mine for $150 savings. You know how like a lot of those uh, folks will be like, oh, but I got these shoes on sale. They were... They were thirty dollars. There's normally a hundred and fifty. I had to buy them. That's my excuse when it comes to some liquors. <laughs> but it was on sale. They're going out of business, or there's only two left. <laughs> so yeah, I get the corn. I get. I get vanilla. Now I'm I'm getting more of the deeper spices, kind of like. So they, <laughs> oh, that was a little heavy of a sniff that time. <laughs> so they say that their biggest tastings are the caramel from your corn. Mm -hmm. You get the butterscotch and the licorice, and then it turns differently on the palate licorice really i mean i can probably go along with the butterscotch maybe like a werther's almost no like grandma's butterscotch <laughs> <laughs> it's a higher proof on the nose sorry about that i apologize please forgive me Ah. <laughs> uh. It smells really nice, though. It is, I get a lot more, I think it's sweet corn forward. And then everything else falls behind it. Okay. Well, salute. Ooh. Okay. I'll agree. I'll agree what they're saying. Okay, tell me. Say it out loud. So I agree that on the nose you're getting the sweetness, but on the mm -hmm. palate you are getting that spice in that tobacco. You do. I'll agree with it. That is so strange because I was expecting a lot more sweetness to follow that nose, but it is very savory. Uh, God, this would be nice with a nice cigar. Do you not agree? It sure would. <laughs> Hey, we got one out there. I'm just saying, maybe a little louder. <laughs> yeah, not that one. Not that silver and blue one. That one was... The nub? Yeah. We, we never had it. We did. did. We smoked that one. Did we smoke that one? We did. Wow. I'm having some timers. I'm just saying. <laughs> I don't remember We did smoke it. that one, and that one was not a favorite <laughs> amongst four people. Oh, yeah, that's true. Okay. I forgot. I don't know. But you also didn't like the one that I liked last week. Oh, man, that was gnarly. That, that was one was so horrible. horrible flavor. <laughs> I'm reminded of that uh, that uh, scene from 
Dumb and Dumber with uh, Jim Carrey's like, <laughs> that was the scar that he had. <laughs> but it tasted so good. The flavors were unbelievable. I don't think I would go that far. But it was full flavor. Hmm. All right, so let's talk about price again. I already said that I got this for $100 and that our local guy has it for around $150. Do you feel that this is worth that? Or is this another one that's like our Blanton's that's got a higher price tag, it's got some good juice, um, and it's got great bragging rights? I'll be honest, with having a Booker's and having a Blanton's on the on the shelf, your buddies next door tend to not have that. I, same thing with the C.H. Taylor. I am definitely thinking that this is above the the Blanton's. Okay, okay. Um, that was good, but like I said, it wasn't... Did I ever tell you who got me onto this to try and get me a bottle of that? Our buddy Ra Raul. R Raphael? Raphael. No, no, Raul. Raul at the Eastman? No, you're right. It was... Raphael. Raphael. Oh, Ouch! I am sorry, Raphael. At I least I know who, who our favorite distil or distributor at a tutu is. That's right. Oh, man, I was wrong. I apologize. I I'll admit when I'm wrong. I will admit when I am wrong and I was wrong. But he has been hooking us up, and I can't wait till uh, tomorrow, because you know what? We've got... We've got a good tequila we're going to be trying out tomorrow. We've got a good lineup picked up. Oh, I can't wait. It's going to be so much fun. But ultimately, hey, guys, we're going to let you go. We are having a great time. Oh, we're, I'm, I lost my little clicker. Got the clicker. Do you remember what we used to call it? Clicker. Got the clicker. Um, I don't think we finished our conversation real quick about, oh, you about think, okay. where you think this rates. You know, I said that I think this is above... Blanton's, especially for your price tag, because it's a little bit more yeah, and that's, flavorful. That's why I was asking your opinion on that. Um, I would have to say definitely. Um, I think it has, it has a different. It's more savorier than Blanton's is. Blanton's is a little more sweeter, so I feel like they're two different coins that I'm looking. Okay. At. Um, and, and I guess I would have to be, and I would choose them based on how I'm feeling, because. Right now, to me, my top three, this moment, and it changes from month to month, but my top three at this moment is going to be Taylor, Blanton's, but edging out both of the Blanton's and the Taylor, I'm going to say is my Booker's. Interesting. Okay. I say that because I... Really, I, I had it the other night. So then, I guess you would be surprised if I told you Woodford one twenty four point seven, followed by E H and then Underground. I would be really surprised by that. I, I would be surprised by that because, um, I guess I maybe I'm basing mine off the hype. Maybe that's me. Okay. Because you know, I did like the Underground. I thought that was great. I did like the Woodford, but you know, maybe, maybe, maybe it's my mind playing games with me on that the Taylor, the Booker, and the Blantons have such cred. You know, they they like they've got the cred, you right? Know? <laughs> um, but they're all really damn good. I don't disagree. And I was surprised at how that one hundred and twenty five. Well, it's one hundred twenty four point seven. Um, proof, which is super high. I was surprised at how smooth that was to, to drink. I mean, it was not knock you on your butt. I've had some that are 100 proof that just, like, knock you on your butt. That was delicious. All of them are good. Guys, thanks a lot for tuning in to us, listening to us babble. I'm having a great time. <laughs> I mean, I just really am. How about you? I love, actually, our shows and... I love watching the comments through the week. I'm going to... Usually I'm up on the comments. I know what's going on. But, guys, these last two weeks, I have been 
crazy busy with with life and the twists and turns and work and all that stuff you know it's harvest and so busiest time of the year for us mm -hmm. so i've actually not had a chance to look through a lot of our comments although we do talk about them so i do get you know yeah. what's going on most of them been great we had one negative and and you know what and and i i take that i i take it because sometimes you know we're not perfect we're we're not experts I'm going to tell you that right now. I'm looking you in the eye. Are you seeing me? I'm looking you. We're not experts. All we're trying to do is have a good time. We're trying to explain to you what we feel um, or what we taste, what we smell. You might taste or smell something different. And that's all we're trying to do. And having a good time. Maybe we put it on tape, put it out there for the world. And by doing that, yes, we open ourselves up for some negative. Thankfully, most of our comments are all positive and reassuring. And yes, we're going to be having a couple negative out there. And we'll take it. And I appreciate you making, uh, making a comment, taking your time to at least watch us. So number one, thank you for watching us, whether it's uh, yeah, good or Yeah, we couldn't bad. do it without you. So please do hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell. Tell your friends about us. Put it on your socials. Share it. Help us build the channel. That's all I keep saying is help us build this channel. But ultimately, guys, remember to always sip, sip savor, and, and celebrate. celebrate. Salute. Salute.